another Amarok video. So we've not long since sorted the front lift. So that's got a probably two inch 50 mil lift on the front now. Not quite evened it out, but still looks pretty good. Still on the standard wheels and tires, which that's just because we can't get the, uh, the wheels powder coated in time and I'm waiting for some spaces as well. So I would have liked to have done it the other way around and have the wheels on now, but we're doing what we can do while we've got the time and the parts to do it. Bumpers. So, a bit more confusing than uh, what it should be because anybody normal would just put these rival bumpers on front and rear and forget about it. But I'm sort of, I'm not really that bothered about the rear bumper, which that one's not got one on at all at the minute. But ours has still got the standard black one on. But basically, we're having a bit of a bumper swapperoo. That bumper at ours is going on to that one, the front one. And then we're getting this nice front bumper. And then the rear bumper is going on to the Tom's. And then the bumper off Tom's is going on to Keith's. So don't ask me why, it's just happening. So we're going to put this nice front bumper on. It's going to give us a nice aggressive look. We're just doing this for a more aggressive look. Obviously jacking it up offers no real towing benefits but I wanted the upgraded shocks and not lowering it, so that's why I went for that. Maybe a little bit of looks. And just the aggressive look, basically, because we're not going to put a winch on, because this is what this is. You've got a winch bracket, so we could have a nice um, worn winch or whatever if we wanted to, which one of the reasons why we're putting this bumper onto that truck is because we've got a hidden winch mount on that one and a nice winch to go on there as well. So that's going to keep standard bumper and be practical. This is having a fancy bumper and being probably more impractical, but it is what it is. I like how these look. The rear end, we might, Scott says he wants something different on the rear end. We might change the rear bumper at some point, but I'm not really that bothered at the minute. We'll get this on. We can do a swap a route, get the wheels on and see how aggressive it looks. So this video might end before we've got the wheels on or I might wait, depending on how much footage we get, until we've got the wheels on. So we'll get this fitted and we'll go from there. Good on.
So, Cameron's nearly got this sorted. It's been quite a painful job. Very hard getting it all lined up and how uh, you want to get it. It's still not quite perfect. A few little bits of brackets to put in and stuff like that. And we've still got, we've got these side trims to put in here. And then we've got to trim these and secure them up properly, which that'll finish the look, I think. So once you can see the tyre, it'll look pretty good. So we'll leave them a little bit longer and uh, we'll see how everything else looks anyway. But it's looking sweet already. So we're wrapping a video up probably before they're done, so we'll try and insert some stuff in before. But basically, the look has been achieved. The only thing left to do is put the number plate on, but that should, that should go on there. And then you can fold it up when you're using the winch to get into under the clutch. Or you can put it there if you want to, and then you fold it up when uh, when it's coming out here, but most people put it there. But I've decided, because we've not got a winch on, we'll cut the number plate and get it to fit in there and cover that all up. So that's the next job. I'll do that in a minute, and then I'm gonna go home in this and see what it drives like. But the, uh, the fog lights are still not wired up properly yet, because we need to sort a little winding plug for that, which we'll sort that out next week. And we've not, as you can see, knock the parking sensors out so that'll be a bit annoying as well while we uh, while we get that sorted but we need to 3d print some little clips because you meant to butcher the bumper which i think is stupid there's no real need to do that so we're going to 3d print some things that we can double-sided tape on the back there and they should work pretty well so we'll sort that out so these are just going to wire up as fog lights parking sensors should all work tom's rear bumper looks pretty good that's um, the knockouts have been done for the parking sensors on this side, but again, we're going to have to 3D print and stick some bits on there. But I think it looks pretty good. You've got some nice lashing points on the rear now, compared to what you get standard. I think we could have probably done with uh, polishing this before we put it on, but this is going to come off again to do all that stuff anyway. So, but the main work, the skin comes off pretty easy, but the brackets are an absolute pig to do. But yeah, I think. We've done what we wanted to do. We've achieved the look that we wanted to achieve. Can't wait to see what it looks like when we've got it jacked up with the uh, bigger tires on there. It should, uh, it should look pretty mean, but this is exactly what we wanted it to look like. Really happy. Not sure whether we just link it to where we got the bumpers from or whether we're gonna sell them and then buy them from them. I'm not too sure yet, but if you look in the description, everything you've seen here is in there. And uh, yeah, hopefully everybody liked it.